dressageclinic.com. A world of knowledge at your fingertips. The Global Dressage Forum North America, the ultimate educational experience where champions meet. My name is Sandra Verda and I want to welcome you to the Fit to Ride Pilates for Equestrian program. This is Kara Hudson, she's one of my Pilates students and a former rider herself. So we're looking forward to showing you some exercises that will hopefully improve your balance, your coordination, your flexibility and mobility, your core strength and overall improve your ability to ride effectively and in harmony with your horse. So what we're going to start with is balance and coordination exercises to um, things that will help you while you're riding. Um, we're going to just start with some really simple squats to get you warmed up and then we're going to move right into some one-legged standing and some balance discs and things like that. So to get started with, um, Kara, what I'm going to get you to do is just start with mini squats. So you're going to keep your feet hip width apart. And what you're going to do is you're going to imagine that your arms are just in the position that you would be if you were riding. And you're going to start with some small squats so that what your focus is, is that you're keeping your pelvis in neutral by drawing your belly button in towards your spine, keeping a connection in your ribs and not necessarily tilting your pelvis under, but just keeping a nice neutral position. Okay, so what you're doing here is you're stabilizing your pelvis but you're also working, obviously, your quads. You're getting a little bit of a stretch for some people through their calves. Good. Okay, now what we're going to do is from there, if we want to just turn and face me so that you can do your squats, but you're also going to now bring your arms forward. So we're just adding in a little bit of a coordination. Good. That's it. That's it. And then what you can do is go from there and start putting your hands above your head. So you're going to do presses up. So as you come down. Now when you press up, what you want to watch for is that you don't become extended in your rib cage. So you want to keep that buttoned feeling. Good. And keep long neck, shoulders down and reaching. Good. Good. Okay, so now what we do is from there, we take a ball and you can just take the, the purple one, yeah, we just use one. And when you add the weight to it, what happens is then it challenges your balance a little bit more. So now you're going to go into squats and you're going to take your ball out and then in. Good. So when you're squatting, what you want to think about is exhale as you come up. When you exhale, it just allows you to engage your core a little bit more and gives you better power as you're pressing up. Good. Okay, so now the next thing that we can do is add for the coordination part of the exercise is you can start doing one arm goes up and the other arm goes out. So let's use two small balls for that and we'll just see how that goes. Okay, so first of all you're going to go out with one arm, so just start with one hand at a time going out. Okay, so in your squat, so squatting out, good, that's it. And you can change whether your hand is palm up or palm down, you can do both, that's it. Good, and now you're going to take your arm up and out, good, good. So what you're doing there is you're just, it's just coordination and it's surprising how actually hard it is to do different movements with your arms while you're still doing your squats. There you go. Good. And then switch arms. And that's usually when the problem comes because you have to start thinking about what your, <laughs> what your arms are doing. So with your, that elbow, bring it forward there. Yeah. And straight up like that. There you go. Good. So this is just a good way to get yourself breathing, get your blood flowing, get things moving. That's right. Good. 
Okay, and then we're going to just turn forward and you're going to do squats with what we call hawk arms. Okay, so you're going to go into a squat and then you're going to raise your arms up to the side. Good, and stand. Right, so you're going to keep squatting. That's right, good. So the same thing, you want to make sure that you're keeping a connection in your pelvis and that your ribs are good. They're buttoned, not popping out. So what can sometimes happen is when you lift your arms up, you pop your ribs out. So go ahead and show that there. Dressageclinic.com is an educational website that allows you to enter the world of dressage training through videos of top seated international dressage trainers, writers, and lecturers. Experience the mastery of some of the world's top trainers from the privacy of your own virtual ringside seat as they guide you through all facets of dressage discipline, sharing their valuable insights and instructions. The upcoming new video section is updated each month to provide you with information on the latest training videos to be showcased on the site. The special features section gives you easy access to the training videos that are currently available online while the search training section allows you to find videos based on a wide variety of categories. Membership to DressageClinic.com provides you with instant access to an international array of recognized trainers from the United States, Canada, Germany, Holland, Belgium, Spain, and many other countries, each sharing their knowledge on a wide variety of educational and informative subjects.